Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new tutorial how to create Minecraft today, this is part 29 and um, sorry for my absence on uh, my YouTube channel uh, there were uh, other things going on basically uh, but now I am back to the programming and stuff like that and um, I hope that in the next uh, couple of days I will upload another video uh, because I am going two weeks on a hiking trip with my dad but um, yeah I wanted to show you this uh, pretty awesome thing it is a chat And the new messages fade as well, and um, the text here, uh, that is optional, you can leave it out or not. Um, there is a max amount of messages uh, there is to show. See, you can max store 20 messages, and here there will only be 10. But of course, you can change that if you want, and you can change this uh, if you want. You can leave it out or whatever. So, this is object chat, and it is created in our world generation object right here with uh, just the x of few x few and y of few y few so um, I created a little sprite it is only one pixel <laughs> and it has uh, well it has an opacity of 164 uh, 74 uh, and it's it's basically black and we are gonna stretch this to be the background of our um, text boxes. Now, a chat can be open and it can be false, but first it is false um, because the chat is an, is closed, you know. So the cursor alpha stands for uh, that uh, the cursor goes like this, on, off, on, off, on, off. So uh, the cursor alpha will first be zero and the alarm of the cursor will be 15 because it's like half a second the cursor will be on and half a second the cursor will be off not exactly probably but uh, something like that and obviously in alarm 0 there is uh, if cursor alpha is 0 then cursor alpha is 1 and otherwise it will just be 0 so that means if it is anything else than 0 it will just be 0 and if it's 0 then it will be 1 easy as that and the alarm will of course be set again now um, our message number this is just a statistic uh, variable uh, you can even leave it out I guess but it's okay um, no you can't can you leave it out no you can leave this no you can't leave it out because here we have if message number is higher than one because the first message um, there will not be 20 messages when you only send one in the first place so uh, it stacks till 20 of course so this is a nece necessary variable until it is 20 basically so the ma max amount of messages you can adapt this to be 4 or uh, 100 you can't see whatever is above your screen so and the message hide you can adjust this as well message width as well um, the cursor position is zero. That has to do with uh, your arrow keys. So you can uh, delete um, characters of a string uh, inside a string with the cursor. And uh, sticky left is false, or sticky right is false. That is for uh, the cursor going do this. Okay. And here we have uh, all the messages that are available. So message. 1 to message 20 and the player message is also a 0 you can leave this out if you want because this is the message uh, uh, the text uh, this is the text that it will appear above uh, your 
uh, player. So you can leave this out if you want. And now every message has an alpha, at least uh, the text and it, its background when it is set and when the uh, chat is closed. And uh, they will all have an alarm when uh, the alpha needs to uh, when it when when the chat box needs to fade, basically text box. All right. So uh, only if uh, inventory is false and crafting is false, then you can open um, your chat. Only if you press T and uh, the chat is closed. Now a keyboard string will be z uh, will be nothing, and keyboard string two that is everything uh, beside uh, uh, everything right of the cursor that uh, will be o will also be nothing basically. And uh, if keyboard press escape escape and it is open, then you will close it. Now uh, with everything in other objects uh, where you can you know uh, have a player input, uh, you gotta do this as well with with basically everything so here as well see there are a few objects um, you may remember them now uh, if these are true then our chat's just gonna be false now this is if open everything in here happens when um, when the chat is open, this is a long one. So uh, object Steve image speed will be zero. That's just a bug fix, so Steve can't uh, really walk. And um, then we have then we make sure that we uh, don't have um, empty messages. So you can't really start with a spacebar. Whenever you uh, your player input is a space, then it will just be nothing again. So um, this is the cursor position. So the cursor position was zero, just to give it a variable, but it is actually string length uh, of the keyboard string. The keyboard string is currently nothing, so uh, cursor position will also be zero still. But whenever we uh, put something in here then uh, the cursor position will be the same as the string length uh, of our player input so now our player input is hello then our uh, cursor position will be 5 because the string length of hello is 5 now uh, what if key string is not nothing anymore because we, we can get player input and we press our left key then there will be triggered an alarm that is about the sticky left variable. So um, here, sticky left will be true. And uh, when sticky left is true, then you will loop. Basically, do this every time when sticky left is true. Um, and but sticky left is set to false again because our alarm is 1.25. And um, if I didn't do this, so if I didn't do this, then it will basically do this. But that is kind of useless because um, it is already true. But I'm gonna make a false for 0 0.25 second. and uh, that will make sure that we don't have a super fast st string that will uh, pass 30 characters every second because that's that's a bit faster than this you know so um, whatever whenever we release it the alarm the current alarm if it's between 0 or 25 0 0.25 or 0 uh, I mean 1.25 and 0 then it will just be minus one uh, just to make sure the alarm doesn't work anymore and sticky left is going to be false so sticky left won't be true again 